does have a 30 and 20 PB, which is about the mark you probably need to run to win this last race on the program. Starting signal now, they're just about set. In fact, they load quickly and the green light on for the lucky last of 12 at the Meadows, favoured in three. Set now. They're racing, and Oregon Courtwell's slow to get going, uh, barring that an even line. Redshift Alpha went out fast, will carve over, and will lead clearly through the first bend over one of one, up to third, Aston Hornet on the outside. Then Grace in shock near the rail, four lengths to Aston Gaga, railing up Oregon Courtwell, then Tiger Newley and Matty Odsock at the end, Redshift Alpha led. Aston Hornet, the danger, gets within a length, just ran into the back of the leader, but now balances. Aston Hornet with momentum, strikes the lead, back in distance, he races clear. Aston Hornet, impressive in the last. Won it running away by two lengths from a photo. Uh, very close. One of one, I'd say, a nose to Grace in shock and a head away Redshift Alpha, who just folded up the last 100 metres. And then Oregon Cordwell from Matty Odsot, Tiger Newley and Aston Gargar last in. The gallop 30 and 31. So Aston Hornet, number eight, he just got a nice run around the outside and he is as strong as the day is long, in particular over 500 metres and late he was able to charge to the front and then race clear, number eight. He did a little bit wrong when he was getting to second placing. He wasn't sure if he should be going under the leader or around the leader and it would have been a, a worrying moment just for a, a slight stride or two for connections but once he decided to go round there was no doubt about Aston Hornet and he is really charged clear to win the last by two and a quarter. Number eight, the winner, Aston Hornet, son of Fernando Bale, Aston Crystal, raced by Ray Border for Emma and Lockie Scott.